Mike Krzyzewski's team 1-0, a home win here Saturday against Coppin State, a 10-point victory. This is the first road game for the Spartans, 2-0, home wins over Eastern Michigan and Notre Dame. And the tip goes out of bounds. And additional big guys in their starting lineups that will lock down in the low post, but very, very versatile and a number of very good handlers. As Rocket Watts is taken over as the point guard and a block shot by Jalen Johnson, who had an amazing debut in that victory against Coppin State. 19 points, 19 rebounds. He also blocked four shots. And he can score, but not that time. Aaron Henry down in the low post. They did it, but Johnson came over from the weak side to take that away. What a beautiful block by Johnson. And a steal by Wendell Moore. He powered to the bucket and got fouled. Your 22 turnovers as a team against clean up over time. It's an inexperienced team. Top state. Well, he can really shoot it. He missed that one. But what a great pass by Johnson. He is at his best in transition. Rocket Watts will largely fill the role of Cassius Winston, if that's possible. The four-year starter at point guard for Michigan State has gone on to the NBA. There's a foul as Wendell Moore. Hauser sat out last year as a transfer from Mark. With 16 rebounds against Notre Dame. He was fantastic. He's a Jalen Johnson, the foul, the first against Duke. Michigan State 22 and 9 a year ago they shared the Big Ten regular season title with Wisconsin and Maryland by Rocket Watts. Well, he did a nice job of handling that pressure by DJ Stewart. Stewart knocked the ball away, but Watts was very strong in trying to get around him. Nice pull up jumper. When he goes straight up and down, he knocks those things down. When he floats on it, he's not near as good of a shooter. So the Duke starting lineup three freshmen, another very highly starters. Whitney Young High School and towards the latest conversation. They were more active in trying to recruit Jalen Johnson from Milwaukee. Watts Langford Henry with Kithier and Hauser, the starting five for Tom Izzo. They've been playing nine men as a rotation through the first Michigan State tested before they. First, uh, Cameron Crazy's not only Michigan State into difficulties running their offense, but they've blocked out and done a, limited them to one shot. Good work by Hurt to get down on the floor and get it back for Duke. It looked like a certain turnover on the inbound. Michigan State one for six from the floor with three turnovers and five fouls, and now they're one out of seven shooting. Johnson powers to the bucket. And transition's been set up by Duke's defense, which has been excellent. A lot of dribbling for Michigan State, not a lot of passing. Watts a miss out of bounds. As you saw, Jalen Johnson on the bench for the moment. For Duke, another freshman's come in for them. Mark Williams, the big guy, number 15, and that's Matthew. I don't think the last one was, no. And I, th and I think a couple times we've had some dubious ones. Wendell Moore bounced it off his foot and turned it over. Then Matthew Hurt. Working on Malik Hall. Stewart got a hand on it, couldn't corral an offensive rebound, and it was ripped away by Hall. Does a little bit of everything for Tom Izzo. Henry Floater, and here come the Spartans. Killer, energy level. Duke just didn't get into its offense very quickly there. They had a ball screen slip, and then another ball screen just took them way too long to get into it. Which K got together, decided to play it on a campus. And it's worked out very well for both sides being here at Cameron. Well, Pre-COVID, it was originally in Chicago, I think, wasn't it? It was. What a move by Jalen Johnson. He is on the floor. They're yeah. 0 for 2 from three-point range. You know, the difference, Sean, is that Michigan State came ready to play, and Duke came ready to start shooting the ball. And it proved a shove in the back. On the bench with two fouls. Don't know when he's going to come back. And I don't know that Tom Izzo is one of those guys that once you get two fouls, he's going to keep you out for the rest of the half. After the free throw by Aaron Henry, half of Duke's points have come from the free throw line. Henry has six of the nine Michigan State points. Henry's got to be a go-to guy for Michigan State. He's got to be that guy when they need a bucket. They know they can give. And was missed. 
Oh, what Michigan a bad State pass. still hasn't shot a free throw. They keep turning it over. And that is Jermaine Brakefield, player of the year. He's a sophomore, junior, and senior. He's the first player ever to do that. And the Gatorade Award's been around for 35 years. Clearly along with the ball, they've not met the challenge to go against a tough defense. 2 0 start. They've moved up, especially with able to fill the void of the departure of Winston and Tillman. Certainly, they think Henry, who's gotten stronger, his ball handling is better, according to Coach Izzo. He'd give more points. They go into the lane, and Marble a nice move. Sophomore out of doubt. And Marble did a really nice job of getting post position inside. Largest Duke lead was 10. Well, Duke's been settling for jumpers the last several times down. Baker missed a three. There's a dunk and a very hard landing by Malik Hall. They got and a they gave him a little shove in the back. Nice to see Hall bounce back up so quickly. And even though they don't have a lot here, well, they've got a number of versatile defenders that can switch out. Jamin Brickfield, that's a three. Field goal, the first two of his Duke career here tonight. Foul on the rebounding action on Joshua Lang. Ball to the basket. The fact that Duke is coming at her. And at times, if they can Duke leads by eight. That's their advantage from the free throw line. They're 10 out of 13 from the stripe. Michigan State just two out of four. Hauser, a corner three for Joey Hauser. You are correct. One out of two tonight. That is way too easy. To the other side of the basket with nobody coming over from the weak side. Just went right around Bingham. Driving him every time he gets it. Six points, six rebounds for Hurt. Nice mood. Coming off an individual play, it's difficult. It has been very difficult this half for Michigan State to run offense. And they just ripped it away. Double team Jeremy Roach and took it away. And in transition, Watts again. He has seven. Yeah. Hand check foul as Stewart was driven. Somebody about him recently, they made a very good and it be that good, but I thought that was a good comparison of, of a player. Aaron Henry hurts on the watch list for the Naismith Trophy, as is Henry. There are 50 on the watch list for the best player in the country. Coaches got together. DJ Stewart shooting two. To talk Michigan State. So they'll probably return it. But Michigan don't have the home court advantage as much as they usually do. Yeah, but but you know, with the current situation, it didn't make sense for both teams to travel to a remote location to play the game when you know you could play a home game, and it, it seems like the right result. They're managing COVID on their campus. Goldwire, the miss, and the. Of course, the two coaches talked about all the protocols being in place. Tom Izzo said, we feel really comfortable with what the people have done here at Duke. To the game. Well, Michigan State has been limiting Duke to one shot. That's really the key. Much tougher defense in the last five minutes. Strong move to the goal. Julius Marble. Part of Michigan State to recognize the mismatch. Jordan Goldwire was on Julius Marble. Marble is bigger, stronger. He's sort of an Andre Hudson type player for Michigan State and just bullied Goldwire down the post. Spartans lead, doesn't last long. Hurt top. A little brush foul up top. Career 71 and a half percent better. Kansas and Kentucky coming up next from Indianapolis. Wendell Moore off the mark from three. Bodies tangle, and it's going to be hurt. He's gotten much so much stronger from last year. Those big guys. Half. They've turned it over six times. You see the difference in defense. Michigan State, tough defensively. They play a little more containment. 
oriented defense, and boy, do they rebound. Duke's a little more pressure getting out in passing lanes, trying to force you further out on the floor. Beautiful move by Aaron Henry, her defender. Ten points for Henry. Michigan State a four-point lead, its largest. D.J. Stewart blocked. Swatted by Henry. And I believe they're going to give a against Notre Dame. And here the pass ahead, the advance pass to Aaron Henry. And Henry just took Stewart right to the bucket and extend. I haven't seen anybody, I think, is as good as Gonzaga. I mean, it's obviously really early, but, man, with Jalen Suggs, that freshman, they've never had a freshman like that. He's, he's amazing. It's a 13-2 run now for MSU as Marble knocks home another. He has eight off the bench. What a big factor Julius Marble's been in this game. You know, Michigan State at the end of the first half against Notre Dame had a 26-0 run. Marble had scored five points combined in their first two games, two against Eastern Michigan and three against the Fighting Irish. Final seconds of the half. Hurt with Marble there, but not close enough. Time for Sparty, three seconds. And Henry off the mark with a long three. Just Kithier back into the game for Michigan State, he had two quick fouls, didn't play much in the first half. It's a four-point lead for the Spartans. Joey Hauser, tough shot, and he made it, fading away. And a bad pass by Hauser, and Rocket Watch retrieved it for Michigan State, guarded by D.J. Stewart, shot clock at 10. And there's a th Michigan State. Boy, what a great shot by Joshua Langford. I thought he was going to pull the trigger the first time he had the ball instead of trying to find Kithier, but how great is it to see Langford back out on the floor? Great pass inside to Matt. Crazy. And a foul committed by Jeremy Roach. The two of the, the top. For Duke was at the free throw line. They outscored Michigan State by 10 at the line and Michigan State was able to shut the free throw line off the second half of, of that first half and of the first half due to the foul difficulty but it's especially tough for Kithier take you to the basket strong down the lane rocket Watts longtime assistant who took over for Tom Izzo when he was battling COVID over the last couple of weeks says that Watts is as fast from one end of the court to the other is anybody he's been around. And now another Duke turnover and numbers on the break for the Spartans. And Watts again. And on Hall, who held his ground well though, and made it a contested shot. Hauser wide open for three. What by Henry poked it free from Hurt. What a great defensive sequence by Aaron Henry. That was fantastic defense on Matt. Young assistant taking over for his mentor, Judd Heathcote. They're the only two head coaches at Michigan State in the last 45 years. And yeah. Izzo's done a remarkable job. What a nice up and under move. I've been at neutral sites, whether it's been in the Champions Classic, which started 10 years ago, or in the NCAA tournament. Air ball fired by Watts, but rescued nicely by Malik Hall. Now Watts got a switch. He had Matthew Hurt on him, shot over the bigger player, but Hall gets him an extra possession. Well, and he is fouled on the arm with the shot clock expiring. Joey Baker. He coming up next. Some uh, ang so it, it, it is not, you know, that big of a deal. Four minutes against Coppin State. Twelve and a half to go here at Cameron Indoor Stadium. Well, Joey Hauser just had a great block out on that last possession. And Michigan State, in the last 10 minutes of the first half and into the second half, and talent in their defense and rebounding are taking over. One out of two for Michigan State. 16 points approaching 12 minutes to go. Well, you can hear the talk is so much better for Michigan State than it was early in the first half. Goal. 
didn't graze any rim, so they're down to five. And Hauser stumbling, nearly turned it over. It'll be three seconds to shoot, half minutes to go. Tom Izzo brought Rocket Watts back into the ball game. They need to get a quick shot up, had just three seconds out of the timeout. Jalen Johnson trying to reestablish himself. He went up. It was the first Blue Devil ever with a stat line of 19 plus points and rebounds with five or more assists and four or more block shots. That's not in a de debut, that's in any game ever. And he did it in his first game, Austin Southern last year. And those numbers you were talking about with Jalen Johnson, I think the only other Division One player to put up numbers like that was Ethan Happ. The last 10 years. Yeah, in the last 10 years. That's really stunning. They have 19, 19, 5, and 4 or more. He did it in his first game against a pesky Coppin State team that hung in there, lost only by 10, 81. We want to make it tougher for Michigan State not only to inbound it, but to get it up the floor. Henry off to Marble for the dunk. What a night for Julius Marble. And aggressive in every facet of the game on both ends of the floor. Tom Izzo said he'll play more as the season goes along. Tough pass by Roach. Duke fortunate to get it back, and then Henry called for the foul. Foul on Henry in the team's fifth. A really nice pass by Aaron Henry in transition, but that is a big time finish. You know, and when you say. And Tom Izzo said he won't. Ready to go when it's their time. Job there by Rocket Watts to force him to his left, and then also to force the finish without fouling. Goal wire. The steal and the lay in, and that won't surprise. 13 Michigan State turnovers now. Duke has it back to a single digit deficit with seven and a half to go. Beautiful drive. Going for a first down. Wasn't going to let anybody take the ball away from him. He knew they needed a point guard with Cassius Winston gone to the NBA goal wire. Nice move again. Going to be a point guard, not going to be a 6 2 shooting guard. Joshua Langford had it blocked by Jalen Johnson. Still 10 to shoot for Michigan State. Tough shot. Watts made it. He's a passer. Hey, look at Aaron Henry coaching the team over there. Well, Tom Izzo has said the best coach teams are the ones that are coached by the players. Foul called on the rebounding action against Duke. Leadership from within. Henry back on the floor. Had it pop out. Oh boy, Goldwire just threw it right back to Henry. Great ball up there after how hard Duke worked to get it. Boy, Henry is among the, the best defenders in the country. Izzo believes he can be even better. And then this is an excellent passing team. Just excellent. No surprise, Michigan State, the edge. They've been one of the best rebounding teams in the country year after year under Tom Izzo. Plus rebound on the defensive end. Joey Baker is fouled out. Uh, but everybody re has to rebound on the defensive end, and Michigan State does that every time. Their guards go to the glass every defensive possession. Okay, can I go back to the last shot by Johnson? Now, was that an up and under? A little scoop shot he just fired no, up. No, no. An up and under is a specific move that's made usually in the post. The Illustrator, SunnySPN.com. Maybe you could do you know, your definitions of things relative to what the rest of the world. It's not the rest of the world. It, the rest of the world in basketball wrong. knows what an up and under move <laughs> is, but somehow it has morphed into like a, a double clutch when you go from one side, like on a layup. Uh, up, but just because you go under the basket doesn't mean it's an up and under move. You don't have to go under the basket, is what you're saying. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. That 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 is not an up and under move. You've gone under the basket, but it's not an up and under move. Does that make sense? But you can be having up and under without being under the basket. Right. Or, exactly. So what's the under part then in your world? An outstanding team. I mean, Joe Wieskamp's a, a 
It was Illinois, Iowa was. I think they will be. Mm -hmm. They are right now. 18 points for Hurt. He's had a good night. A lot of his teammates have not. And Wisconsin's another really experienced team. That's just excellent. I mean, they're going to count that bucket for Aaron Henry. Driven the ball in this game and been more aggressive attacking. Really good news for Michigan State. You know, talking about Wisconsin's a little like Michigan State with their, their experience level, except that I think they're more experienced. They're like a bunch of ex-pros, ex-European pros that play at the Y that just crush you at lunchtime. You, you had way too much free time on your hand in the offseason, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I'm painting a wonderful metal picture for you. Yes. Leave the painting to your wife, <laughs> Wendy, who's a wonderful artist and a very patient woman. I knew that was coming. <laughs> <laughs> and a saint. Her hearing a impairment. Her hearing impairment has really helped our relationship. <laughs> Two minutes to go. Michigan State by 13. Wendell Moore. He's had an awful night shooting it. Hasn't made a field goal. And Brakefield is there. Player in the ESPN Top 100 in high school last year. Today, I say that before, I'm like, well, how is that possible? I went to Robin Roberts' Jimmy V fundraiser last year in New York in December. And there are people who endow all the money to pay for the staff at the V Foundation so that everything people give goes directly to the cancer research. It's really remarkable what the V Foundation does, and it gives you incredible peace of mind that when you give money, you know that all of it is going to the, the call. Minutes. Yeah, and that was the Cameron Crazies do that thing where they, they do they say see you. A lot of things different. So Baker's filed out for Duke. Hauser for Michigan State. Starting to scramble in their half-court defense, trying to turn over the Spartans, and good ball handling here by Foster Lawyer. Five was a terrific player at Michigan. Jeremy played eight champions. He made everything from the line and the field, and there's the announcer, Jenks. Well, he did a great job in this game. He didn't get posted. Just took the charge there. They were pointing at Pat Driscoll. They thought he had another call from under the basket, but he told them he did not. They give it to Lawyer again. Again, he's going to try to make them foul him. Wow. Yeah, Aaron Henry can, can play the point. He's not a natural pad last year and in prior years. Just be a different kind of team that way. Boy, the positives of this Michigan State team, they're going to keep getting better, man. The three by Roach, but it's probably too little, too late for Duke down. K2, he said he has one of the great programs, not just in college basketball, but in all of college athletic. Trouble getting it in. Ball well, of him in 2016. Same year that Jay Billis researched the Kirk Gowdy Award from the Basketball Hall of Fame, took his place among the media members, honored the last 20 years. Uh, it, who's put up numbers like uh, in final, final force for Michigan State the most, the most in the country? Remarkable. Just remarkable. Oh, Hurt banks one in. This one isn't over yet. It's a six-point game. And, and a travel walk. called as Duke applied pressure in the backcourt. Johnson, the primary defender on Aaron Henry. Just get the ball inbounds and get it in cleanly. Nice cut by Johnson. I'm going to go for Duke. So for his ball handling and free throw shooting ability, big miss. Hall the rebound. Eight points and ten rebounds. This entire game would be a great learning experience for the young team that Mike krzyzewski has got. But just finishing games. Double-double for Malik Hall. Time running out on Duke. Hurts three wouldn't go and... A foul committed by Goldwire, sophomore. Of yours has read the book and <laughs> <laughs> reads your column regularly. <laughs> 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 
His career high in points is 21. There's a three. That won't make a difference. A really good win for Michigan State to come into Cameron and walk away victorious. First win ever for Michigan State here. And Tom Izzo and the Spartans wave their salute and respect.